Hey guys, uh, today we're just gonna update on some states and see where they're at with legalization of marijuana, weed, smoking. Okay, we'll just go through this state by state and we'll start with Hawaii. Hawaii and also Washington DC are in, are in similar situations right now and they're both kind of interesting situations where um, they are making it almost recreationally legal for people over the age of 65 to obtain marijuana. And they're doing this in different ways, but Hawaii is doing it where they are going to make it so that senior citizens can write their own reasons for needing the medical marijuana without needing a doctor to, to be in the process. So they can just say they need it for this kind of pain or for whatever, and they're making it even more lax than it already is, which basically is legalizing. To be fair, this state has not yet passed this. It has passed some committees and it has to go to the whole state Senate and the state house, but it is on its way through. And then we'll go to Washington DC, which is doing the same thing. Their um, senior citizens are able to self-certify. This one is a little bit further along than the Hawaii one because this just passed the mayor's desk. So it's signed into law where Senior citizens can now self-certify and they can get marijuana as easily or just one step easier than recreational where you can just literally go to a dispensary. For them, they just say, I'm certifying that I need it and they get it. One other thing that this bill that just passed in Washington DC does, which I think is actually really cool and other states should look at this as, as something to, to do, is around the time of 420 this year, the week of 420, I think it's um, April 15th to April 24th, they are incentivizing people to buy in the legal market by taking away the sales tax on the marijuana, uh, on the medical marijuana. There is typically a 6% sales tax. They are taking that away in that week. And so hopefully it's going to incentivize people people to get out of the black market and, and continue buying locally and legally. So New Hampshire is a bit of a controversial thing right now because they just passed something in the house that would make state run marijuana dispensaries legal. Um, it passed the house, it has to pass a finance committee and then go back to the house for another vote. But it's looking like it will. There's a lot of pushback on both sides. The uh, more progressive side is saying that they don't want this to be state run. And what that means is you see this in like Pennsylvania with alcohol where you can only buy bigger cases of alcohol at a beer distributor or a liquor store and these are state-run liquor stores so you can't just go to like a gas station like you can in California or a lot of other states. Um, New Hampshire would make it very very strict on who's on which dispensaries can open and they all have to be state-run. So this bill um, while it did pass the house it may have to come back and it may not pass but we'll see what happens with this. It may be a path forward for New Hampshire. And then Alabama which just just passed a kind of decriminalization of marijuana, or at least passed a committee in the Senate, and uh, is on its way to passing. This decriminalization would basically be anything under two ounces, so not a whole lot. Under two ounces of marijuana, you just get a small fine. Over that, you get a warning, or, or over that, it's a misdemeanor. So it's still really not that much of a decriminalization, but it's Alabama, and so let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They are one of those states that we kind of expect to be very last in this whole thing. So they are decriminalizing, and one of the more exciting parts of this bill is that there is an expungement part. So people who have uh, gone to jail or are on their records that for possessing under two ounces of marijuana, they can petition to get that off of their records. So that is one of the bigger things that we want to see as a social equity thing. So the fact that Alabama is actually looking to that and trying to get that passed is very exciting. That's good. Um, hopefully that means that we're going to see that with other GOP run states. Then we have Delaware that's getting really, really close to legalization of recreational marijuana. It just passed another committee in, in the House and it's going to the full, the full House for a vote. Um, it's looking like it will pass that. So I think Delaware is on its way to getting legalization. It's amazing. Like literally every single day you can look at another state with updates on legalization um, and then another state over here that's getting updates on legalization in some capacity, some way. So it's kind of crazy that there's just so much marijuana news happening right now. And then finally, uh, we have Kentucky, which is not anywhere near uh, legalization at this point, but the Democrats of Kentucky have filed a bill that would legalize in the state. So they probably will have a long road before this gets passed, but it is ta it has taken the first step, which is filing the bill. And now and now people are starting to think, it, think about it and mull it over. And some reactions on the Republican side may be really adamantly against, but over time, those would soften. Over time, that softens. And that's how that works. Those are the states. There are a bunch of them. Um, 
hopefully we have this much news on every state every week this year, and especially by the time the November election comes around. And that's that for today. It's Friday, so new music. We've got the, really, the only thing that I'm kind of excited about this week is the new Beach House album. Beach House is this band, this dream pop band that's been around since, you know, the 2000s, 2006 or so. And at this point in their career, if you are not a Beach House fan, you're, they're not gonna get you on their side. You're, you're not gonna become a Beach House fan. However, this new album is just the most Beach house album that they've ever put out. It's, it's, it's the most elegant chamber music chamber pop music that they could ever create. It's like so many different subgenres within that chamber pop. It's it's um it's shoegaze. It's uh, kind of trappy sometimes. It's it's a bunch of stuff and it's really really exciting. It's a huge album. It's a large scope. It really feels like their final statement as a band that I would be totally cool if that were the case. But that's out today. I suggest go checking it out. It's um once twice melody is what it's called by Beach House. And that's it for this week. We'll be back next week with some more stories. I'll see you then. <coughs>